Assalamualaikum. Hi everyone and welcome back. This is the second part of the tutorial video for question 3D July 2021 on the topic receivables under FAR 210. Uh, here we are going to focus on the determination of the amount of impairment uh, loss for the trade receivable that will be recognized in the profit or loss and also the net realizable uh, value of the receivables to be disclosed in the statement of financial position. Earlier on, we have already uh, calculated the expected credit loss in our previous video and if you can still recall, uh, the expected credit loss is actually the forward-looking estimates of the uncollectable accounts receivable that are made by the company um, to uh, actually foresee what would be those uh, receivables that would have problems or also what are the uh, monitoring policies that should be done in order to cater for the so-called uncollectable uh, accounts receivable. So uh, in our case, the expected credit loss has already been determined. And if you can still recall, we have earlier done that in the previous video. And here, if you are um, trying to uh, understand this better, I have provided a three-column ledger here, where if you could recall on 1st of January 2020, you have been informed that the beginning balance of the estimates of the uncollectable account receivable in the allowance account was 12,000. Right, uh, we are trying to go and get the uh, answer for this part actually, but this will help you to understand better. So I'm just giving this as a bonus answer. And then you would notice that these are the beginning balance, the one that was bigger, uh, uh, given at the beginning of the year. And throughout the year, somewhere in September 10, another cu customer, which is rubber for you, has been declared bankrupt and therefore you have written off the customer as bad. So this is the transaction for the bad debts written off. And um, at the end of the year, using the expected credit loss um, method through the uh, estimates that were being given we have earlier calculated the uh, so-called uh, the uh, estimate of the credit loss which is 22350 so this is the one that will be the one the, that you are going to include in the uh, calculation of your uh, net realizable value of the receivable but at the end what you need to do is you need to compare the Running balance here, 28,000 and 22,350 because this is from the estimates that the company have done. So now you would like to see what, whether there is an impairment loss. So if you compare here, there was actually uh, an increase because here there is a debit balance and here is a credit balance. And there was an increase in the balance by 50,350 because this is a debit balance. And by its nature, allowance for impairment is a negative asset account so it will have credit balance so once you have a debit balance the different here is actually 5350 and there was an increase in loss allowance so at the end of the year the balance is 22350 and for the following year you will have a balance to be the uh, estimate in the following year at the beginning of the year to be 22350 so after you have done that, you can now write your answer. So you can start by uh, uh, doing the disclosure notes, which is to prepare the statement of allowance for impairment loss of trade receivable. Start by putting the balance. You can just take from your allowance for impairment and put it here. Put the bad that's written off, which is the second one here, 40,000. And the balance here, 22,350 is the going to be the last row in the statement of allowance and therefore there is a charge for the year here that was actually an increase in the uh, allowance for impairment loss because at the end of the year the balance was 22,350 and before that it was uh, 28,000 so there was an increase of 5350 and remember that 28000 is actually a debit balance so after you have done that as i said this is the beginning of the answer which is uh, the one that you have prepared the statement of allowance for impairment of traceable apart from that you need to write the uh, so called amount that is to be shown in the statement of profit or loss which is 5350 it is from here 
So it is recognized as part of an expenses under admin expenses for the year ended 31st of December 2020. So you are going to do that and also you are asked to determine the amount of net realizable value for the receivable to be disclosed in the statement of financial position. So that one would be 727650 and that would be recognized in the soft P as current asset accounts receivable as at 31st of December 2020. And I'm showing you the statement of financial position extract only that shows the accounts receivable, the trade receivable, 750,000 and that was reduced by the estimates of the uncollectable account receivable that was the allowance for impairment loss of trade receivable and that was 22,350 and therefore your net realizable value is 727650. Okay, that's it. That and for my uh, advice for you is that you can use the allowance for impairment loss three column ledger account so that it can help you with the uh, construction of the statement of allowance for impairment of trade receivable. That's it. I'll see you and I'll see you. Uh, thank you for watching. With that, Assalamualaikum and bye bye.